essentially giving you a payroll tax holiday. Hey everybody, it's me, AJ Golden, self-proclaimed money nerd and personal finance geek. And welcome to Personal Finance Made Easy. I created this channel to help you win with money by making concepts such as budgeting, saving, and investing simple and easy. Today, I'm going to explain the payroll tax cut. Yep, that's right. Those of you who are employees may know that on September 1st, 2020, there was a payroll tax cut that went into effect. But before I talk about the tax cut, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, if you like these videos and the ones that I've been providing, don't forget to hit that like button right below the video. It helps out my channel tremendously by recommending this video to other viewers. And finally, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these videos and any questions that you may have on any of the topics that I'm covering. All right, let's get into today's video. So on August 8th, President Trump signed a presidential memoranda deferring the social security tax withholding from September 1st through December 31st of 2020. And then on Friday, August 28th, the IRS issued guidance to employers on exactly what you need to do to administer this deferral. So essentially, employers have the opportunity to stop withholding your social security taxes between September 1st and December 31st, essentially giving you a payroll tax holiday. Yep, that's right, a tax holiday. Now, before you go out and pre-spend all of your newfound wealth, please note that you are still obligated to repay this money between January 1st and April 30th of 2021. What? Yeah, that's right. Now, before I get into the details of that repayment, let me explain the social security tax. Social security is withheld from employees paycheck every single time you're paid. It's a 12.4% tax in which half is paid by your employer and half is withheld from your paycheck and paid by you. Earlier this year, as part of the CARES Act, eligible employers were allowed to defer the employer portion of the social security tax. So that 6.2% that they normally pay on your behalf is being deferred until 2021 and 2022. So employers have the option of deferring the employer portion of the social security tax, and it's already in effect. Eligible employers have already begun to make that deferment and are responsible for repaying that deferral by the end of 2021, half by the end of 2021, and the other half by the end of 2022. Now, that part doesn't necessarily impact you. The part that impacts you is that now you as an employee are able to have a deferral. Now. This is specific to a certain income range. If you make $4,000 or less on a bi-weekly basis, then you are one of those eligible employees. But before you get excited again, I hate to bust your bubble, but this is not mandatory for employers to take part in. Oh, no. And there are several reasons why employers may opt out of stopping your withholding. One of the main reasons is because you are responsible for repaying this next year. And what that means is, is although you'll have a deferral now, in next year, starting January 1st, you'll have double taxation. The 6.2 that you would have had withheld this year between September and December will now be the entire 12.4% starting in January. So many employers are not wanting to put that unnecessary burden on their employees starting next year. Now it goes without saying that this stimulus is meant to help those who are currently working, but unfortunately it has unexpected consequences in the double taxation that you'll see next year. As always, I suggest that you maintain a spending plan that allows you to continue to live within your means and that will help you to keep consistency and stability during this trying time. And if you're unemployed, 
make sure you're taking advantage of the unemployment benefits that are given to you as a part of the overall stimulus package and the CARES Act that was signed into law back in March. Now, I hope this helps you to understand the payroll tax cut. Unfortunately, your employer may not be giving you this tax holiday. So you need to check with your payroll or HR department to understand if they are implementing it for you. And if they are, you should set aside some of that money. Don't spend it all. Set aside some of that money in a savings account because next year you will see a double taxation in order to make up for the amount that has been deferred this year. I hope that's helped you out. If it has, don't forget to hit that like button below the video. And if you have other questions, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what your questions are. And I'll be happy to answer them either in the comments or by making another video. Until next time, you keep living on purpose, pursue your passion, and get the gold.